great Friday morning. I hope you're having a beautiful start to yet another day that the Lord has blessed us with. This countdown to 2020, Lord willing. I tell you, in, in these last few days of this year, of this decade, do you feel that perhaps the Lord put you in a peculiar or strange situation where you're like, I don't know why I'm here, what am I doing? Well, we know that we still can have joy in the journey, in the strange path. In Psalms 137, we would have gone over it because today is December 27th. The psalmist asks the question, how can we sing songs and rejoice in a strange land? How is that possible? You might be in a foreign country. You might be in a different state. You might be out of your comfortable surroundings. Maybe you are staying with a relative. How are you able to be joyful in a place where, like, this is not where I should be? Well, David knows something about that in Psalms, I believe, 57, when he was uh, fleeing from Saul. David went into the cave, and he, even though he was... He described his soul or his heart being surrounded. He said, my soul is among lions in verse 4. And I lie even among them that are set on fire. And the teeth are spears and arrows and the tongue a sharp sword. He was in some impending danger in the midst of it. But even though he was in a very uncomfortable, dangerous situation, he was able to say in verse 5, Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, no matter what situation I find myself, let the glory be above all the earth. He kept it vertical. Why? Because his heart was fixed, O God. Amen. Is that our conviction and commitment today and especially these last few days? No matter what we see horizontally or compassed around us, it says, I will sing and give praise. So whatever instruments you have, you might not be um, a pianist or someone who plays a harp or a flautist, plays a flute, but whatever instrument you have, tell it may be your, your fingers, it may be your voice. Awake, wake up, and give glory to God. And in fact, in verse 8 of Psalms 57, he says, Awake up my glory, awake salt tree and harp, his instruments. I myself will awake early. This is the morning time, and we want to use whatever God has placed in our hands and our surroundings for his glory so that we can exalt him. In verse 9, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, wherever I am, whatever state, where am I, I don't know, but I will sing unto thee among the nations. Hallelujah. And we would have gone over Psalms 107. A lot of us are eating breakfast. That's cool. But know that the Lord, in verse 9 of Psalms 107, he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul. Some of, us, some of us are physically hungry, but a lot of us are spiritually hungry. Let's make sure that we get our power breakfast. And he says that he will fill that hungry soul with goodness. Amen. I love the Lord. And I know you love him too. And because of that, we give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Amen. He has delivered us from situations in the past and he has brought us into a large place. And that is the reason why we love him. Not only that, it's because he is so good. I don't know what is our chapter. I don't know if we are in Psalms 13. But hey, I'm just going to say, I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord. And if it's Psalms 14, seek God. It's the last two verses of verse 2. The last two words of verse 2. Seek God. If you're not feeling all of this as far as exaltation and praising the Lord, 
seek him with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind, before you get that physical breakfast. Get the nourishment and know that he will fill your heart, fill your body, fill your stomach, fill your soul, most of all, with good things. Hallelujah. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you uh, just enjoy the blessings of the Lord and know that he will strengthen you with this bite and fill you with so many blessings. Great day.